after testing po- positive that he kind of told a little bit of a, a fib. You know, when he was asked, um, are you vaccinated? He said, uh, I am, what was the phrase? Immunized. I'm immunized. Playing little games. You know, he's so smart from Cal Berkeley. He's immunized. Well, I'm immunized, too. I have the measles vaccine, rubella, all that. You know, I'm immunized. So he didn't say that he was vaccinated. He said he was immunized. Everybody thought he said that he was vaccinated. So we'll see where this goes. But the only reason it's a story, guys, and I want—I don't even know where to go with this. Did he lie? Because the NFL supposedly turned down his request. He said that he had treatment that should serve as a vaccination. They shot him down and said no. Um, supposedly, he was um, wearing the mask in the uh, Green Bay Packers facility around other players, which is required if you're not vaccinated. But he didn't do it during press availability, which is against the rules. He didn't do it when he's interviewed on the field, which is against the rules. So are the rules different because Aaron Rodgers is such a great player and going to the Hall of Fame? Or or should he, if he lied to people or fibbed to them, whatever you want to say, should he be suspended? We'll see. Well, he shouldn't be suspended for just lying to the media. All right? He's under no obligation to tell us the truth. He's under obligation to tell the Packers the truth. So if he told the Packers he was vaccinated and he wasn't, well, then he deserves, I would think, a similar suspension that Evander Kane had for having the fake vaccination card in the NHL. You violate the protocols, you should, should be disciplined for it. If you lie about it, you should be disciplined for it. But if he told the Packers he was vaccinated and is just messing with us in the media, I'm not sure there's any discipline action that's got to be thrown his way. Oh, now, no. Not to, uh, everybody lies to the media. That's right. Not, that's but, not, uh, that's uh, do I like it? No, but I don't think as long as the only, uh, the only people I think he needed to tell the truth to was the NFL and the Packers. He can tell us whatever he wants. Now, if you want to fine him or give him some sort of discipline for not wearing the mask during media availability, and does that violate the protocol? Well, then that's up to the NFL to decide. But if he lied just to us, all right, no big deal. But if he lied to the Packers or he lied to the NFL, then I think there's some major discipline coming his way. Well, I don't think he lied to the NFL because he tried to get a dispensation for the quote-unquote treatment. I don't know what treatment that he thinks... Um, should have um, supplanted the vaccination. But they turned him down. So they knew that he wasn't vaccinated. So if the NFL knew, then the Packers knew. And the Packers should get in some trouble, too, if they let him meet with the media when the rule is you can't meet with the media if you're unvaccinated unless you're wearing a mask. And most of the people that are unvaccinated, they will meet with the media through a Zoom meeting. Right. So So the Packers could be in trouble, too. I would think so. It's still a violation of the protocol. So what does that mean? I don't know. What 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 you know, you got the players association involved, so does that mean a fine? Does that mean a suspension? So it's not a conversation about pro or anti vaccination. It's just you've got to follow certain rules. It was all agreed upon by the players association and the owners. Another one of those it really doesn't matter what you think, this is what was agreed upon. There's how you conduct yourself if you're vaccinated, here's how you conduct yourself if you're not vaccinated. And if you violated the protocols, whether it's Yo-Yo Bumchuck or Aaron Rodgers, they've got to be disciplined. Yeah, it's kind of funny, though. Uh, it's, it's not funny. It's sad that he's got a lot of nozzle in him. He really does. He's, tr- he's trying to be too cute for school. Here's what I don't understand. You have every right as an American not to take this vaccine. Every single right. You have every right not to take it unless your employer says that you have to take it. Then you know, the rules are different. The rules are different in private um, business than as an American. But he has every right not to take it. But why do these people that aren't going to take it, why do they lie? What, what are they ashamed of? Why don't they tell us that? He has, Aaron Rodgers has every right to say, you know what? I wasn't vaccinated. Instead, he plays, he plays games, word games. He says, oh, I'm immunized. Well, I mean, I from what? Not now. Every time somebody is asked that question, they have to have a follow up. Oh, are you vaccinated against coronavirus? And then they'll get ticked off at the media for digging down. Now, they have to ask the question. But again, too cute for school. He's a real nozzle. There's so many things about him that are nozzly. They really and, are. And like this, this one, I don't know, man. Like I, I really, uh, 
have no interest in having a, a long vaccine conversation. No. But I'll, but I'll just say this. Not, not everyone's situation is the same. You know, and the reason you're seeing such a high percentage of vaccination in the pro sports leagues, I, I, I would think, guys, is because the kind of money that's on the line for these people, right? So I understand people who are already working a job that they could barely stand in the first place, and they don't believe in the vaccine. I can understand them really not wanting to feel forced to get it. But I think the reason that you see such an exceptional vaccination rate in basketball, hockey, football, etc., is because... They're getting paid an obscene amount of money, and they know that. So everyone basically gets vaccinated to just keep this thing moving so everyone can make their money, and do. The, and they're part of a team. So once most of the team does right. it, they're doing it. So I guess what really annoys me here is that this is the first example I've heard in the NFL of the outright leader of the team deciding to do this. Like, he decided to go rogue, and now he will be out in a marquee game. Now, it's a game that with him starting, I didn't see what the line was. I don't know if you guys know what it was. Yeah, it jumped eight points. He's worth eight points. So Going from pick him to eight and a half. Wait, they're plus eight and a half? Yeah. Wow. So it was pick him, and by the way, I would have loved the Packers in that game because the Chiefs have not been good. So you love the Packers to go against a weak Chiefs defense and get a win. What are you getting with Jordan Love? No one has any idea. They may very well lose a game they should win. And, yes, even though Kansas City is not playing Kansas City Chiefs football right now, we all know this is a sexy marquee game. And he's out. It's just lame. And, you know, the, the people that will defend him, again, not a vaccine show. We've been down this road. It's not a pretty road. Because people are dug in on their side. We're not going to convince you. But the people will say, well, people that are vaccinated, like Saquon Barkley, they get it too. Yeah, we get it. But let, let's take the sickness aspect out of it. You know, Saquon Barkley doesn't have to miss a minimum of 10 days. Saquon Barkley could be back in two days if he has two negative tests in a row. That's the positive for a team that's vaccinated. So what, what Aaron Rodgers has done is make himself unavailable to this team for 10 days, no matter what, whether he gets sick or not. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. So that's the difference. Yes, vaccinated people do get COVID, too. For the most part, they don't get overly ill. People that aren't vaccinated get COVID, and some of them do get ill. He's a high-class athlete, probably he's not going to get really sick. But a guy like Sidney Crosby, right? Don, correct me if I'm wrong. He has symptoms, right? Yeah, mild symptoms, but he has symptoms. Now, most of most of the NHL is is vaccinated. I think there were four players not vaccinated, and he was not one of them. Well, so he's vaccinated and has symptoms. So you can imagine if he wasn't vaccinated, what the symptoms would be, what the manifestation would be. But forget, forget the sickness, forget your feelings about the vaccine. Just say the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. Has put his team behind the eight balls, uh, uh, behind the eight ball, because he would not get a vaccine, and now he's out a minimum of ten days, a minimum, and still has to have those two negative tests. Now Saquon Barkley, who was vaccinated, all he has to get is two negative tests within twenty four hours of each other, and he could play on Sunday. See the difference, everybody, oh. when you're a member of a team. So, because what the NFL did and all these sports did is realize we can't force you. To get vaccinated, we can't we can't make it mandatory to get vaccinated. But what we can do is make the rules really harsh if you're unvaccinated and test positive. So you had a choice to make. And as far as him being a nozzle to the media and him not wearing the mask, I, I don't know why the rules would be different for him. So that that's something the NFL has to deal with too. Is not just the fact that he decided not to get vaccinated, but also to be a nozzle about it. And also violate some protocol. So I would think that there's going to be some discipline beyond the 10 days he has to wait for a negative test, right? I don't know. I mean, there, there seems to be seems to be different rules for stars. Well, no, but, but, that would but, be awful. But it does seem like there's no, different I, rules I, for but, stars. But I, if, if, but if it's down in paper and agreed upon between both parties, then there shouldn't. They, they should be exposed. We should be able to see 
how a player that's the third string lineman gets treated as opposed to the star quarterback. There was a lot of speculation that the reason that Cam Newton was released in New England because he was unvaccinated because they didn't want to have to go through the hoops and ladder the hoops that they would have to go through. Almost said shoots and ladders. If he did test positive as a quarterback of the team and being in that room with the other quarterbacks, do the Packers want to have a situation like the Denver Broncos had last year where they had to play a game without quarterbacks? Well, let's hear from um, Matt LaFleur, the head coach of uh, the Green Bay Packers, and he was asked about Rodgers' uh, back status. Uh, Aaron vaccinated. I'm not going to get into any of our coaches or players' vaccination status. I really don't know. I just know that he won't be available this week, and then we've got a great opponent we're going against, and then we'll address next week when we get there. Now, can can I call foul on this? He doesn't know. He has every right to say, I'm not going to get into it. Leave it at that. I really don't know if Aaron Rodgers is vaccinated. What are you, a clown? You think Bill Belichick knows the janitor at Gillette Stadium whether he's vaccinated no, or not? He knows. He's just it's this whole it's a, it's a private issue thing. But is it a private issue if I'm a media member and I met with him and he had COVID and wasn't wearing a mask? Is it private then? No, it's not private then. You know, so I understand the HIPAA laws and all that, and it's none of our business. Okay, it's none of my business. I'm 1,500 miles away from him. I've had no contact with him. But what if I was somebody who had contact with him under the assumption, because he wasn't wearing a mask, that he was vaccinated and then wasn't vaccinated? Doesn't it become my business? It does. It does. But for for him to say, I'm not going to talk about it, and I really don't know, well, then he's a liar, too. He's either It's one of two things with LaFleur, liar or inept. He, Imagine yeah, he, the biggest lying. star on your team. You don't know whether or not the guy's vaccinated or not. So you, so you, who, who exactly was enacting the rules that he has to be masked um, within the Green Bay Packers facility? If the coach doesn't know if he's vaccinated. Right. Well, he knows. He has to know. But Okay, but here's what I don't get, right? All he had to say, I'm not going to get into people's vaccination status. Boom. But then he goes, I really don't know. If he says, I don't, I'm not going to get into it, okay, fine privacy issue, whatever the case may be, and then a media member, as Doc said, could say, well, it's kind of a big deal to me since I'm in the same room with the guy. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Rob Domofsky covers the Packers for ESPN. He was on Greeny. Here's what he said about Rogers um, not following protocols. Carson Wentz is unvaccinated, right? That's been noted. And every time I've seen him on the sideline, he's wearing a mask, right? When he comes off the field, he puts a mask on. When he goes to shake hands after the game, he has a mask on. Rodgers hasn't done any of that in the public. I don't know what he's doing behind closed doors. The unvaccinated players will have to wear masks in the facility when they're in meetings and things like that. We don't know what he's doing there, but when he's in the public and in places just like Carson Wentz is wearing a mask, Rodgers is not wearing so, listen, again, Rogers has the right not to get vaccinated. So this is not a discussion about that. But then he wants to have it both ways. So he wants the people in the world to think I am vaccinated. And then he's standing next to Michelle Tafoya um, and Lisa Salters. And without a mask, when Carson Wentz, who is not vaccinated, actually does wear a mask when he's on the field. Well, why does he get that? Well, that's Aaron Rodgers. It's Aaron Rodgers. Come on. That's the, that's I got to tell you, this adds a new smug. We've already, to be fair, on this show, on this here particular program, we have been calling out the nozzleness of Aaron Rodgers for some time. Yes, we always point out that we love to watch him. He's frankly the most talented player I've maybe ever seen play the position. And the thing that's annoying about him is he believes that also. He also believes he's the smartest person who's ever lived, and that comes across constantly, right? By the way, can I just add, you've had this ugly haircut for six months for that crappy John Wick costume? Come on. <laughs> yes. I'd rather just be Don and say you like your ugly haircut, okay? Don't don't tell me. No offense, Don. Don't tell me you have some Halloween costume, and it's John Wick, okay? Give me a break. But this this one, this is a wrinkle I did not expect, because now... Not only is is he he's supposed to be so smug and smart, 
So why are you not explaining to everyone this whole time what you've been thinking? Really, you, you, have, uh, you have every right not to get a vaccine. Just say it. Tell her why. But he's an important person. His influence could be, you know, his conversation could be valuable. Why are you not saying it? And now we have to play a game with him? And no, I, mean, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if I feel as strongly as you do about LaFleur. My guess is those answers were simply coach speak. No, no. Here, here's, I, I'm glad you brought it up because I have to walk back what I said. Because it, it, the, the cut was edited. The second okay. question was, which we didn't hear, is he going to play next week? He said, I don't know. So he wasn't saying, I don't know if he's vaccinated. He said, he said I don't know if he's going to play next week. And that's legitimate. Because he's got to test po- he's got to test negative twice after the ten days. So if he doesn't if he doesn't have any, well, I don't know what the specific fine or suspension could be for a player that violates NFL COVID protocol. But if this were to lead to an outbreak, the Packers would have to forfeit games. There's no more moving games anymore. No, it, no, it, no. That's it. Yeah. It says the team with the outbreak will forfeit and be credited with a loss. And, and do you you don't do you don't lose game checks, do you? Yeah, so yeah, you get, lose game checks. Yeah. So it says um, if a game cannot be rescheduled during the 18 week schedule due to COVID 19 outbreak among unvaccinated players, the team will that with the outbreak will be for, forfeit and credited with a loss. Now, now they still could make up the game, but you know it's week nine. You know, so you're running out of time here. So, so that more than anything else, like this is what should concern the Packers, and I think this might have been what concerned the Patriots with Cam Newton. Is just okay. You're unvaccinated. If you end up getting this, if he spreads it to the team, it ends up becoming a giant situation where like 13 players test positive and they can't play the game on Sunday and they can't move it anywhere else. Now the Packers who are battling to try to make the playoffs could have to forfeit a game. Now Rob Domofsky, who covers the Packers, as we mentioned. Uh, Matt LaFleur, when asked why Aaron Rodgers described his vaccination status this summer as immunized, said, quote, that's a great question for Aaron. Now, Ian Kenyon of the NFL uh, said, gee, I hope he's been traveling on separate flights as the rest of the team, because that's also part of the rule, getting tested daily, part of the rule, wearing masks at team facilities and during travel, part of the rule, not leaving hotels, part of the rules, not eating meals with teammates, each of these are violations of the NFL's COVID restrictions for unvaccinated players. And Peter, getting back to the long hair and the John Wick costume, he was at a Sunday night party with his team without a mask. Well, according to what you pointed out, which I hadn't really thought about, it sounds like the guy never wears a mask. Listen, vaccinate, don't vaccinate. If you don't vaccinate, wear a mask when you're around people. If you're if you are unwilling to get vaccinated or wear a mask, I got nothing for you, fam. I no, I, I I just think seven hundred thousand like deaths. I got nothing for you. It's any other rule, all right? And, and and listen, this is a free country. People have pointed that out numerous times during, over the last twenty months. If you don't want to get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. If you want to march, if, if if God forbid you lost your job, if you want to march against the mandates, protest against the mandates, you're free to do that as well. But if you work for a private business, then you can be unvaccinated. You got to follow the rules. If that means getting tested every day, you got to get tested every day. If that means you got to wear a mask, you got to wear a mask. If that means you got to travel separately, you got to travel separately. And you know that the, the the Packers they're walking on eggshells around this guy. He almost didn't come into camp, right? So you think that that Matt Lafleur is going to tell him, you know what? I'm sorry. Aaron, you got to travel on a separate flight. That's the rules. There's no way they did that. There's no way. And they knew he was not vaccinated. All right, we'll talk to you about it. 1-800-919-3776.